Hey Alexa, is today a good day to go fishing? Sorry, I'm not sure. Well, you're worthless. I don't know that today's a good day to go fishing either. But something new came. And by God, I'm going fishing. guys real quick and I mean quick we're going through an MTV box <laughs> we've got some KVD drop shop half shells these little bad boys look awesome a flipping jig which I don't know that I can use today but I love jigs these saw craws juiced with skank stank whatever X zone what wacky worms these will work on this pond, usually in the spring, but I don't know about in the summer, so we're gonna try and do that too. We've got a giant swim bait, some brush bands, which are good for the jig, and you can also use these as wacky worm uh, hookups, so you can use them for wacky worms. The Ketchco Runt, and some Carl's Stash uh, weight pegs in this month's MTB Pro Box. I'm not gonna go through all the prices right now. We already know they have a great deal. I just need to go out and go fishing with some MTV stuff. Let's do it. Fishing didn't go as planned. But, the baits in this box are actually awesome. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through some of my favorites just so you guys kinda know. Um, one is gonna be these worms. Uh, Senko worms, I'm a big fan. This is a large bag of them. Uh, and the color is gonna be great for when spring actually does hit here, here in Chicagoland. The weather is just not working. Go figure, it's Chicago. The weather never works. More craws, I love any type of creature baits. These bad boys actually look awesome, and they're some beefy little dudes. They've got some density to them. I'm really excited to use a lot more of them uh, when spring kind of kicks off. Getting them back in the bin, way harder than getting them out. The grunt, which is not in this box, it's actually still on my rod, is actually a very cool style bait. I just need the water to warm up a little bit more before I can use it. The Weston Hypnotease is actually a massive, massive swim bait. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try and slow roll this on one of the big ponds out here. Uh, probably one of the lakes when they open up. On April 1st, all the lakes are gonna open up here and we can actually go out and fish lakes again. So until then, whatever. Little drop shot deals. I'm not a drop shot guy, but because I got them, it's something I'm gonna have to try. So. Sweet. And it's KVD. You gotta have something KVD. Love jigs. I've got tons of jigs, and this is gonna be just another one to add to the arsenal. This is a flipping jig more specifically, so I'm gonna be able to use this during spawn to flip on into mats, into all sorts of different areas, and try and get a bite. The last two things are kind of small, and both listed at a low price on the actual Dibby, but by no means are they inexpensive bad products. The weight pegs are gonna be great for any kind of creature bait or attaching any kind of tungsten, anything along those lines. So I've got a million of these, but having more never hurts. 
This is something I'm going to be interested in a lot. I, I've never really tried to use these for brush protectors or brush guards, and this is going to be something new to try on that flipping jig, especially when you're trying to flip it. I also think these can be used as wacky worm rings, so dual purpose. The grand total for what was in the March box came to $43.04, which again, for a $25 buy is an incredible deal. So shout out to Mystery Tackle Box. They've made another great month. And until next time, guys, happy foosin'.